everybody welcome back to my channel um on this today's video i'm gonna show you how to recreate my makeup look from instagram i'll insert the picture right here if i remember to do it but i will i will remember this time um so yeah i'm just gonna recreate it because a lot of people asked me the products i was using and all these things and they were they really liked that picture it was like very nice to like know that people enjoyed my makeup look so i decided to recreate it and just tell you guys what i was i, I did um but yeah with that being said let's get started First, I'm going to moisturize my lips with my Chapstick by Burt's Bees. And I'm going to moisturize my face. And I use the Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin because I actually have really, really dry skin. Um, it's kind of disgusting. Sometimes it looks like I have drool on my face. And it's just that my skin's like dry and nasty. So I'm going to use the um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. That's what it looks like. And it's the best thing I've ever spent my reward points on. So I'm just gonna apply that everywhere. So now I'm just gonna go in with my eyebrows, and I have really ugly eyebrows. It's just no, there's no help for them. Um, I'm just gonna brush it through, and I'm using the Anastasia brow pencil, or brow wiz in the color granite. This is always the hardest part. Getting my eyebrows to the shape I want them is always the hardest part for me. Because this one's thinner than this one. And sometimes what I think looks good doesn't actually look good. So I have to go tell my sister, um, do my eyebrows look fine? And most of the time they don't. So I love that. I just, I don't know what I did, but they're done now. So now that they're done, I'm going to actually go in with some primer. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I do it because I'm not a makeup artist. So I go in with coconut primer smoothie priming moisturizer. Coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer. Okay. That's a lot more than I wanted to use, but I mean, we're going to use it. So I apply them right in these areas because I find it that when I apply it there and then I apply like highlighter or something it looks like 10 times better and that's why I do it I don't know if you're supposed to do it like that but whatever and then we're gonna go in with the smash smosh with the smashbox photo finish hydrating under primer under eye primer and um, I don't really know what this is used for. I just put it under eye like the instructions say. So now that I'm all hydrated, as you can tell, I'm going to go in with my um, concealer and kind of like clean up under my brows because I see a lot of people do that. So um, I, I do it too because why not copy what people do, right? Um, so I get this concealer in the shade medium. It's actually like really, really light for me, um, but I make it work because I spend money on it and I'm very shy and I wasn't gonna go back and return it and embarrass myself like that, so. I grabbed this angled brush from Sephora. I It's really old, so I don't really even know the number. I think that's 90 or six, one of those two. Okay, so I just pick some concealer up with my brush and I just whoop, under my eye. Okay, then I go in with this brush and I just clean it up all under. Well, like I blend it out all under, that's what I meant. Oh gosh. One day I'll become good at doing my eyebrows and I'll be the next Desi Perkins. But for now, I am just Janella and my eyebrows look weird. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me because I can't even hear myself. Um, but my eyebrows are on. What did I do next? Oh, I grabbed my Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation in the shade Sand. And this is actually the only foundation I've ran out of without changing it. So you could say that I really like it, I guess. And, oh no, oh no, this video is not gonna work if I run out of foundation. 
Oh no, 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 no. What am I gonna do? Can you like unscrew this? Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> I was doing it the wrong way. Well, I'm just gonna work with what we have here, which is obviously nothing. Wow, my skin's really like clear right now. But don't be fooled because it usually isn't like this. I don't know what's wrong with my face right now. It's just never this like acne free. I will always love you so I knew you belong. Okay. Found a solution. Okay. Now that that's all done, we're gonna go in with concealer again. And I'm actually out of this too, so I don't know. So I'm just gonna put some on my forehead and right here and then down my nose and we're gonna blend that out first. We're gonna grab the concealer again and put some under my eyes. Um, this is also in the shade medium and it is too light for me. I don't know if I said that already, but it's really light and I don't know who I thought I was, but obviously I thought wrong. Let me set my eyes with my Laura Mercier um, setting powder. And I'm just going to get this brush from Morphe. It's the M438 brush. And I'm just going to set right there. And for contouring, I'm just going to use this dark foundation. If you guys have seen my other makeup videos, you guys know that I use a dark foundation to contour because I feel like it works the same. I don't know. And I use this liquid foundation brush from Cover FX. So I just pour it on something like a paper towel or whatever. I just grab the side of it and I just make a line where I want to contour like that. And then I kind of blend it out. You see that? It looks muddy. <laughs> I feel like, does that look good? I can't tell. And the camera looks fine. Okay, we're gonna just keep it like that. I'm going to pack down with my Real Technique sponge because I just feel like that works better and okay it might look a little bit muddy but it's fine because i have no one to impress i'm just showing you guys what i did on my photo now i know i look silly but this is really how it goes for me guys this is my makeup routine um, okay so next i'm gonna go with my um foundation with my eyeshadow palette. It's the 15D Day Slayer palette. I love it. So then I'm gonna grab my Morphe E17 brush. I think I got the shade Forever. And I just really blended it in my crease. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go in with the shade Epic down here. And I'm gonna kinda do the same thing I just did. Okay, and a little bit more on this side. I grabbed this big fluffy brush. Um, by Morphe, it's the R37 brush, and I just blend that all up. And that's what I did to my eyes that day. And I'm just gonna wipe off the setting powder. I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use this tiny little brush by Morphe, it's the E36 brush. And I'm gonna grab in those same shades, Forever and Epic, and just put it under my lash line. And um, I also grabbed the shade Just Eyes right here. And I put that in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm gonna blend that out again because I think that's what you're supposed to do. Then I'm gonna go into my Morphe palette um, by, it's the, sh it's the palette 350S. And my best friend actually got me this palette. So shout outs to you, Momo. I go into this shade right here it's like a glittery kind of shade and i just put that in my inner corner i have a lot of morphe products because um if they were all presents so i'm just gonna put that in my inner corner it's time to contour more of my face and for i'm gonna just start contouring my nose and for my nose i'm gonna use this brush e47 by morphe and i just kind of pack on my bronzer by marc jacobs and i contour the lines of my nose you see that? It's so skinny now. <laughs> and I just really blend it out. So um, I, the way I get rid of my, like, the sharp lines, I just really, really blend out for a long time. So I'm just going to skip that process and see you guys once it's all done. So I'm done with my nose thing. So now I'm going to 
contour the rest of my face. So I'm just going to add on bronzer. And I use the Anastasia Contour Kit. And I use, obviously, this one the most. So I'm just going to grab on my brush from Sephora and just put that all of my, uh, over my cheek. Now that that's done, um, I'm just going to put some blush on. And I use the Milani Big Blush in the shade Red Vino. Morphe brush, again, M530. I really want to highlight my under my eyebrows. So actually with the same palette of the Morphe shimmer thing, I'm going to use that same shade we used before, this one right up here, and I'll put it under my eyebrow bone. I'm also going to put some on the tip of my nose. Then I also finished off with my glow kit by Anastasia, and this is the Sun Dip glow kit, and I use these two shades up here, these two shades up here, so I use um, Summer and Bronze. And I know a lot of people don't like using fan brushes to apply their highlight, but I do, so I'm going to just go ahead and do it. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but I don't put a lot either. It's just for fun. Okay, and next I need to bring my mirror closer because I'm going to do mascara. And um, I need to really look at myself when I'm doing mascara. So actually, last thing before mascara, I did put um, this white eyeliner by NYX Cosmetics. It's in the shade white, <laughs> and I just put it on my lower lash line, and not my lower lash line. Yeah, I put it on my lower um, waterline thingy, lash line, I don't know what it's called, and up the top, because um, I do have small eyes, so I feel like when I do that, it kind of brightens my eyes up a bit, especially since the colors I put on are kind of dark, so I'm going to do that first. Now that i finished that, and now I'm going to go in with um, mascara. And I use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume in the color Very, Very Black. Now it's time for my lips. And this is an interesting combination that I created. So, what we need. I use the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Liner in the color Nude Whisper. And it looks really weird on my lips, but I still use it because... Um, I'm going to obviously use what I spent money on. <gasps> it broke. My life is so <laughs> unfair. Okay, well, the vacuum's on because my mom's vacuuming. I don't know why I decided to record when there's things going on in the house, but I'm just going to finish really fast. Honey, stop it. I'm just gonna finish really fast because there's so much noise now, so Okay, what did I do first? Okay, I used the matte like lipstick from the Kylie Collection thingy in the shade Dolce Dolce K if that's how you pronounce it and Yeah So after I applied that matte lipstick, I actually went over with this Kylie Jenner gloss in the shade literally and I think it makes like a nice combination so the reason why I put the matte lipstick on before the, the gloss is because the gloss is actually I'm very like tan so the gloss is actually very very light on me and it looks kind of weird and I don't like it cuz I'm just very tan so I mix these two together um, and I get the kind of color that I was expecting it to look like on me. But yeah, ignore the lip liner part because honestly, that was just, I was just too cheap to buy the whole lip kit. So I just bought a separate lip liner and, um, it didn't turn out right. So, I mean, whatever. So this is the final makeup look. This is exactly how I did my makeup look for that Instagram picture I put in the beginning of the video. So with that being said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, like, subscribe, comment on this video, and I'll see you guys next time.